Hey everybody. Yeah, that's me. That's me in the picture there. Um, that was me when I was little. That was uh, I was about uh, probably about five years old in that picture. That's when I first, um, as you guys know, if you've seen my other videos, that's when I first started liking black girls. And uh, this particular video is kind of based on that. You know, um, it's uh, it's basically about what did people think about me as a kid you know what did my friends or family think about me uh growing up only liking black girls at a, at a young age and you know um i mean all of my family is is from uh mainly from georgia actually you know my mom is from georgia and all of her side there so you know um so let's get right into it uh basically what what it was like growing up um i i can tell you this i didn't have a lot of friends um and part of that may be because i was shy but um especially when when i got to middle school the main reason i didn't have any friends was because uh i was i was pretty open about liking black girls and wanting to date only black girls and I had one friend who, he was my best friend from, I think we met in the third grade. He was my friend Austin. Um, I have another name for him, but I'm not going not gonna to use that name. But it's not a bad name. It's just a funny name, but we'll just, you know, we'll call him Austin. And uh, we were friends from the third grade, uh, probably about up to the eighth grade, you know. And... Um, you know, in the in the beginning, he he didn't really he didn't really know that I dated or wanted to date black women. Um, growing up, I never really talked about it to him. But uh, you know, once I got to the eighth grade uh, and I got my first black girlfriend, the one I made a video about before, uh, I think he he kind of had a problem with that. You know, I think it it was almost like he felt like. <clears throat> I was, you know, weird for dating a black girl and weird for liking black girls. And he kind of began to change, you know, our friendship kind of began to change. Um, I mean, even after she had broke up with me and I wanted her back for a long time, you know, he, he, uh, we, we had gotten to a fight one time because he had, uh, told me that I was, heartbroken and and in love with a blank you know that word and I got up and punched him in the face when he was on my couch and uh you know made him go home um I think he had said that one more time to me again he called me uh, a blank lover you know I've been called that so many times in my life it's not even funny um but you know Middle school uh, was probably the toughest, <clears throat> you know, growing up being called names like that by kids that started finding out that, uh, that I did like black girls. And that's what, you know, kind of kept me from, from having a lot of friends. Uh, I remember I, I made this friend one time. He was actually a, like a white kid from Bosnia. And he was pretty cool. Uh, we had become pretty good friends, but as soon as he found out, that uh I like black women. I remember his exact words. He's like, "You what?" And I was like, "Yeah, I only I only like black girls." And I remember he looked at me with such like disgust in his face and he was like, "You're disgusting. I can't hang around you anymore." And he was like, y "You got problems, dude." And he stopped being my friend, you know, just right there in an instant. I mean, he wouldn't even he wouldn't even look at me when I passed him in the hallway, which is pretty crazy, you know. It's crazy that there's there's kids. We were 14 years old. There's kids that are uh, projecting this racism on other kids. It's it's just really crazy uh, looking back. But you know, um, I mean, as a kid, uh, I I you know I, I tried to date girls in school and stuff. But I mean, they would never uh, would never date me. Like I'm talking like elementary and stuff. Like, there was this girl named Bianca I tried to date. Uh, 
in the fifth grade. That was the first girl that I tried to date. And then in the uh, seventh grade, there was this girl named Kirsten. I fell in love with her. God, I was so in love with her, but she would never date me either. Um, when Once we got to high school, um, she had gone to another school for the eighth grade, but once she ran into me in the 10th grade, then uh, we kind of talked a little bit and talked about getting back together, you know, but I, I don't know exactly what happened, but that ended up not happening. But, um... As for my family, um, you know, that's that's kind of been a different story. It's kind of been up and down. Um, I mean, there was family members that I was told by my mom, you know, don't don't tell your uncle that you're with a black girl because he'll he'll, you know, who knows what he'll do. You know, when we would go to Georgia and stuff to visit them, like, don't you dare tell him. He'll he'll have a fit. He'll slap you upside the head. He'll call you names, and I'm just like. You know, I never really cared what anyone thought. I mean, you know, whether family wants to turn their back on me, which they absolutely have in the past. Um, and, I mean, that's as far as I'm going to go into that. Just know that, yes, my family has uh, turned my their back on me. Um, I've been kicked out of my own house because, because of it. Um, I was homeless for a time because of something that happened. And apparently I was choosing a black woman over my family. But it's not about that. I think it's about, you know, choosing what's right over what's wrong. I stand up for what I believe in, even if it, it leaves me without a roof over my head. You know, which it did for a time. Um, but, you know, I mean, once I got to high school, uh, I think that people distanced themselves from me. I didn't have many friends in high school. I really didn't have any friends. Um, nobody really wanted to hang out with me or whatever. You know, I mean, I had friends on the bus, you know, but I mean, the I, bus is the bus, is what I was trying to say. The video cut off there, but you know, the bus is the bus, and you kind of got to talk to people that live in your neighborhood or whatever. But nobody, nobody cared to you know hang out with me or whatever, which was fine. You know, I, I didn't really care for that too much anyway. And besides, I mean, I was too busy hanging out with. Um, girls that I wanted to date, you know, or hanging out with my girlfriend at the time, you know, so, um, so that's just a little history on, you know, how people treated me. I know a lot of people have been asking in the comments for like the last year, you know, how was it growing up? How was your family when you told them? Uh, so, you know, obviously my stepdad always supported it. He's a, he's a big role and, uh, why, uh, you know why I grew up to to be this way and also I, I I think that it's God because I really think that I was um, born to love black women and born to stand up for uh, the black race itself you know <clears throat> I feel like um, you know I wish that more people would stand up for minorities and stuff but you know that's just a little bit of, of uh, how it was growing up and how I dealt with it and you know looking back I wouldn't change a thing you know I've really enjoyed my life I've really enjoyed the the people I've gotten to know the women that I've gotten to know the girls I've dated over the years so I mean yes there has been sacrifices you know losing friends losing family whatever but that doesn't matter to me and it shouldn't matter to you either if someone is trying to regulate who you date and who you love don't let them you know, and don't ever be afraid to, to just come out and tell somebody, you know, if, <clears throat> I mean, what, whoever you're dating, whoever you love, you know, whether, whether it be, uh, you're a man and you, you like other men or you're a woman and you like other women, you know, don't be afraid to tell your friends and family, you know, e either they're going to accept you or they're not, but don't feel like you have to, um, you know, live behind closed doors like that. You know, always be proud of who you are, be proud of who you love, and stand up for what you believe in, as I do. And don't let people try to shame you for who you love. You know, who are they? You know, who cares? I mean, love who you love. You know, people try to shame me my whole life and tell me I'm disgusting, I'm nasty, what's wrong with you, you know, for, for liking black girls. Uh, when I was really young, you know, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 
people try to tell my my mom that this is just a phase he'll grow out of it he doesn't even know what he's talking about but no they were wrong and i'm glad they were wrong you know i would hate to be one of these kids that that said i was going to grow up to marry a black woman and never did or uh just to just be somebody that you know basically a poser and i've never been a poser about this you know this has been an, a legit authentic love since i was five years old you know it's just the way god created me <clears throat> it's what i was born to do so thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe um for all you guys that are new and you're just now seeing this video check some of my other videos out i got a lot of good videos on here we talk about a lot of stuff uh this was a request from a viewer to make this video so i uh, just went ahead and did it but other than that Hopefully I can have chapter 8 of my interracial love story, my western love story, uh, hopefully out tomorrow. I'm probably going to start working on chapter 8 today. Other than that, guys, I'll see you next time. My name is Joe Jones. This is the Cup of Joe Show, and this has just been your daily dosage. Whoop!